So I'm adding this to the beginning of the video, but recording it after what you're about to see next, which is my friend Brett driving my Tesla. He's never driven a Tesla. He's not a fanboy like I am, which feel free to call me a fanboy. I do like this car a lot, but prior to my purchase, I have both test drove and watched a lot of videos on it. So this video is an experience from someone who does not work in tech, uh, who's driving the car for the first time to show how easy the car is to drive. A couple notes, because someone may comment on this, and yes, Brett did have his hands off of the steering wheel, mostly to demonstrate the fact that the car does auto steer. Uh, and I'm aware that I did tell him that it, he just can roll a knob, but yes, I know, and we did talk about it, just didn't feel like going through the whole conversation of yes, if you keep tension on the steering wheel, the autopilot will uh, not bother you about you know telling you to touch a steering wheel. Uh, so someone will be pointing it out in the comments later anyways because we're going to skip ahead of this part. But just want to let you know, yes, I'm aware of that. Yes, you should have your hands on the wheel at the uh, whole time. But yes, taking your hands off the wheel, uh, you can do that for a few moments with the autopilot. I don't think we ever really clarified that in the video, so I'm clarifying that now and we'll roll into it. It's, oh my. And it handles. Oh and it my handles. gosh. That just got up. <laughs> miles an hour like that and I'm gonna beep that out <laughs> oh we're gonna yeah. oh <laughs> yeah all right I want to do something a little different and I figured I've drove the car and I'll not that my enthusiasm isn't there I like having someone who hasn't watched a bunch of YouTube videos on Tesla Brett's not, and I haven't yet <laughs> this is the first time ever getting it at least well, gotten in the car before the first time behind the driver's seat and so the first thing we're going to show you is how he adjusts it so uh, Brett's taller than me and it has profiles you can save so go ahead and, and watch the steering wheel you can fine-tune it's not just seat moving the steering wheel goes in and out up and down back and forth oh, that's cool. this is cool this is the first game of the car <laughs> holy cow I could I I am I, I mean I could play Tetris with this thing yeah well you can there's a game app in there but we'll cover that in a different video <laughs> holy cow this is crazy so I think I'm comfortable you're comfortable all right uh, there that's it it's done he's it saves put your foot on the brake lift the thing up and that puts it in reverse and the backup camera's on, and we go backwards. I think your neighbor's pulling out, too. I didn't... S oh, they left. I they see him. Okay, this is weird. Because there's no sound. There's no... I'm going to turn the AC down just a little so it doesn't make any noise. But there's no... We're just going. Yeah, that's weird. And when you let it off, it does the brake a little bit, right? Yeah. Uh, I don't know how much it does. I don't think it regens in reverse. Okay. But you're going to feel the regen. That's actually what's really cool. Oh. There's somebody. Okay. Somebody? Yeah, they pulled in over there. That's a wide angle view. It's a that's a very crispy HD cam, isn't it? Holy cow. So I put on the brake. Oh, you don't even have to. You can just put it in drive. Now I'm in drive. Yeah. You can just go from reverse to drive. There's no trans, so you just flip the flip the stock that, and it goes. Okay. <laughs> I'm still I don't know why that's so fascinating to me that it does that, but it does. Now I didn't put it in chill mode, so uh it does still have full power. Oh, you have a chill mode on this thing? It does have a chill mode. Are you kidding me? Yeah, so if you uh, don't want it to be as aggressive, you can chill it out. <laughs> well, you... you <laughs> there might be problems here, so... It's in full mode, so... Okay. If you're going to hit it, let me know so the camera doesn't oh come smack gosh. me in the face. Whoa. You let off the gas and it just stops the car. Yep. Yeah, that's how you don't really need to use the brakes. And you have blinkers on this thing? Yep. It's got blinkers. I didn't hear him go off. I don't know, you didn't hit it all the way. Oh, okay. you get a lift. Uh, you'll feel it. It's got a click like a normal blinker. Okay, I got. I don't want to break anything. <laughs> and I don't think you can in here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so that is just. Uh, you just. You yep. really don't need brake. Yeah, you can go whichever way. I don't care. Okay, I'm gonna pull out a little bit here. There we go. That I hear. Blinker. Now you hear the blinkers. Blinkers are working. They're weird because they got the little half click thing, and you don't. It, I don't know, I felt the blinkers, like you have to really push it down and then it's engaged. I feel as though it was a lighter touch with my other blinkers on my Toyota, but I don't know. That's a really minor, weird, maybe it wasn't me, maybe it's just how other blinkers are in other cars. All right. And if you want to punch it, I'm fine with that. Oh, I'm, probably, I, we're on the island right now, so we may not want to punch that. Yeah, um, the we're on Grosseal Island and there's the police station, so he's probably wise not to punch it. <laughs> yeah, not, not in front of them. Aren't so, you still like reeling a little bit from a speeding ticket recently? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, yes I am. So we, we don't want another one of those. We don't we want another speeding ticket. Holy cow. 
this is so it's a, you so you can oh if you keep it on a little bit oh, it'll coast, coast if yeah you keep it on a little bit but if you let it all the way up it stops you yep so that, that's the trick with the regenerative braking is that um you don't you is figuring out where the coast doesn't take long the pedal is so sensitive matter of fact i took my shoes off and uh because i wanted to see this pressing with my big toe ever so slightly you can creep this car at like i don't know not even a mile an hour like it just barely move it like you can precision move the car which yeah. i thought was really this cool is, this, so i can i just a little bit of movement okay i've got it okay yeah and uh, just very little and it and it, and it locks on now, if you wanted to drive yourself, uh, you press twice down on that. So drive myself, press yep. press on that button? Nope, uh, down twice. So one, two. There you go. So what's this doing? Uh, you can let go of the wheel, and it'll it'll come to a stop of that car in front of you. Okay, I'm... <laughs> the autopilot. Okay, this is, this is... And it's staying in the lane. Staying in the lane. How, now, oh, the bridge. Yes. This will be interesting. Did yes, you do this over the bridge? I did. And it worked. And it works. Okay, this bridge is narrow. It's a, this it's, is a very. This bridge was like horse and carriage days, man. This is not yeah, a new bridge. Yeah, and part of it's still wood. Yeah. Um, that's why they're gonna try to condemn the dang thing. Um, it's. Let's see what it does. Oh yeah. Okay. So okay, I'm gonna trust it. Yeah, we're gonna see if it goes over the bridge. Uh, this this bridge is scary now. The car will actually beep because things are gonna get so close. And that's just nature of this bridge. Hey, there goes Chip and his Mad Max car. We're gonna turn the camera around. And it's moving this? me. It's moving me away from the car. Yep. Oh, let's do this. What's that doing? Well, uh, you have to touch the steering wheel once in a while. Oh, okay. Um, and just roll the knob. That's easy way to do it. Uh, the auto drive wants to make sure you're awake. Okay. And making sure you're awake means you touch the little roller. Just roll it up and down once and you're good. I just did. Yep. Do I need to do it again? Or no, 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 it tells you. It, oh, you'll okay, you'll see it pop up. Okay. You just sorry. have to that you have to look, you'll see there and it'll bing, make some noise. And, and it knew the speed limit. Yes. Now that's that's something I just learned today. So the original Teslas, and I thought this Tesla did it too, they read the speed limit based on seeing it. This is the original models. This so what's does it not. gonna do since we didn't tell it to go anywhere at this uh, it's gonna come to a stop because it's gonna run on our road. <laughs> so you may as well take it out of autopilot. Okay. Uh, up, uh, up, up once. Yep. And uh, we can turn on a different road. Okay. Interesting. So oh. the original, yeah, that that auto rebrake, isn't that weird? And then when you come to a stop, you'll come to a stop and tap the brake. So the original Teslas did read from stop signs. But then they got rid of that software. It's called Mobile Eye, and Mobile Eye's idea was to okay, man, this is bad. The oh, the glare. I know the glare. Oh yeah, look at you. <laughs> I know I'm all in the dark here. So the original one uh, had no problems, could read that, but okay. they got rid of that software. So now they're at the new version, and the new version. Oh my God! Hold on. Oh, Sorry. Yeah. You just looked up? <laughs> yeah, I know. That's wild. The new version relies on a GPS database that needs to be updated because there's some inaccuracies. So it looks at the road and says, this road should be this speed. And we have found mm -hmm. some inaccuracies in that. Uh, there's a lot of people reporting it. It's going to be a software update to fix that. I don't know when. Um, but that is a, that is an issue with the car is it will not always get the speed limit right on side streets. It sometimes reads it wrong. Oh, man. Which I'm hoping they just call Google up because Google is super accurate on that. Oh, okay, don't you can't just let your foot off if you don't want to stop. Right, if you don't want to stop. Wow. Now, how did you go over these tracks coming no, here? They're fine though. These ones are okay. These ones aren't bad. The ones on Sibley are terrible. Right. Should I be naming streets or doesn't matter? Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay. We'll cut some of this out if we get to 4th Street. Oh my God. <laughs> we'll do that at 4th Street. Hold on. Well, it's 45 here. I just wanted to yeah. get there quickly and it did. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Matter of fact, let's say we're going around the speed limit right now and you wanted to punch it, so go ahead. Well, uh, I'm. Or is there any. I'm, yeah. just, I'm just looking around. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's hard Holy to hold the camera. Holy <laughs> Uh. The camera wants to come hit me in the face. That's, yeah, yeah. I should, I'll, I'll warn you next time. <laughs> well, I had a grip on it. It's not a matter of warning me. That, it, it, you know, it's because it, you know, with an engine, you can hear it and you. Feel There's a it. delay. There's a downshift, and that's that's the part I really wanted to get through. There's no. The power is on demand. It is so immediate, and that's what makes it kind of fun. Wow. 
I'm just gonna pull. Yeah, them. go ahead, pull in front of them. They're not gonna across. catch me. No, they're not. They're not. And I want the sun out of my face. <laughs> yeah, for a moment. Uh oh, we got no lots of traffic just, here. It's just traffic. It's telling you how much you have. Like right now, it says you have 247 miles to go yeah. right here. At any given time, you know exactly how far you have to go in the car. Okay. And uh, that's. You know, you don't. You can change that to percentage. The default is miles, and miles makes way more sense to me. But you can change it to figure out percentages. Jeez, and, you don't uh, have to go very. I mean, you barely have to put on the gas to do. I mean, and it's it just goes. It jumped. and then right here's a good time for auto drive. Oh, because this is a boring road, and whenever you're on a boring road. This is where the autopilot really is designed for. And you have a max 57 right now, but you can change yep. that. You just roll the roller and you can set it to that. Now roll it up a few ways and catch up to these cars. Right. It'll catch up in front of us, but it won't go faster than them. So actually if this guy, well, oh, oh what's wow. He doing? Oh boy, he's swerving. Let's see what he, let's see how it <laughs> reacts to that. Um, it, until it they- It keeps you distance wise. Yes, uh, and that's adjustable, so. We can follow them closer, we can follow them further. Oh, see, I like to follow people closer when they're going sl slower than speed <laughs> You, Yeah, you can tell the car how far you want to follow them. So it's it's kind of going over and it, see, it saw the line. Yep, it saw and the it line. Auto holy crap, it just auto-corrected that. Yeah, the autopilot works really, really well. I'm gonna dive deeper in maybe another video. Now, until he gets on the other side of that line, oh, he did. When people hang out on the other side of the line, even if it's one tire over, it'll do it. Now the car accelerated to the speed. Yeah. But it's gonna see these cars up here and stop again. And go, okay, hold on. Oh, oh look, at what are these cars? Oh, no, no, uh, tap the brakes. Tap? It, yeah. It doesn't know red lights? It does not know red lights. Oh! So you don't wanna... We would, have, we would have blown right through that. You thing. would have blown the red light. You don't want to blow the red light. Really? So there's so, a. If you get the full self-driving update, this is not the full self-driving. The full self-driving okay. update will have the ability to see red lights. Real quick, I know there's a. Once we get past this corner, and I notice that there's nobody sitting at that special spot. Uh huh. We're gonna punch it. So we're gonna get punch ready it. To hold on. To All it. right. This is the launch onto the uh, freeway. Not yet, though. We gotta get past. Yeah, the we gotta corner get past here. the spot. So, you know, we got to get up to 55, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's make sure there's nobody there. <laughs> that camera's looking at this. Oh, did we see? What do you see? Nothing? <laughs> it's, oh my. And it handles. Oh and it my handles. gosh. That just <laughs> got up to. Miles an hour like that, and I'm gonna beep that out. <laughs> oh, we're gonna. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't talk about how fast we're going because they can still give you a ticket. Yeah, on, they can on Facebook. <laughs> so I, I gotta say though, it, it didn't feel the same as when I was sitting over there and you did it. So I uh, I went faster than that on a Hellcat on this same piece of road. But it feel you feel it. The Hellcat. Yeah, yeah, you feel yeah. it all over your body. Yeah, this is you can't if if I didn't. I don't know how to say how fast you're going. But if you didn't show the speed limit, so we're gonna blow that out. Um, <laughs> there's no there's no concept for how fast you're going. Oh, here's like, a vet. Uh, right they might they might they might win. Oh yeah. Now this is where I call it total boring mode because long yeah. freeway trips are boring and uh yeah it just stays in lane and drives on the freeway this is wonderful but boring now if you let's say you so with that package you could buy it would would, would it change lanes for oh, yeah. you and everything yes. right now it won't right now it won't if you buy the full self-driving right now in july of 2019 it's a six thousand dollar upgrade and yes the full self-driving will also uh turn a knob cool either one cool um the full self-driving. Oh yeah, that's a isn't that a feeling? Whoa! It, it kind of yeah. because it saw the line over there. Yeah, it's it'll middle it'll put it in the middle of the two lines. Um, that's a problem when there's sometimes merge lanes. Get in the middle lane and that problem goes away. All right, right twice down. So the full self-driving has a different levels of aggression that you can set for how it passes people. So how long? So if you let's say we had to stop and charge it, it'd be like we'd sit down, eat lunch, and charge the car. Yep. Yep, that's and, it. And 
Anything? I no hands. Yeah. I'm on 75 South. Oh, I guess I gotta hit that. Once in a while, you gotta roll a knob. Roll a knob. Okay. It's about every couple minutes. Okay. And it shows the car. It's showing the cars around there. It's showing that we're approaching a big ass truck. And a big ass truck up here. <laughs> Interesting. And so, and I can set the max. Yeah. If I want to, but with that in front of me, it's going to slow down to what it's doing. Yep. It's uh, it won't it, like I said without full self driving, it won't change lanes, so it gets there. Should we have fun with this Camaro? Can this Camaro beat us back behind us? Oh uh, yeah, uh, change lanes before he goes around you. Oh, he's, he, doing, uh, it. he's doing it. So it's just like you missed the opportunity. Roll well, up. Roll up. Okay. <laughs> I could take them still. Oh, you could definitely take them. That one we would be. Yeah. I, Corvette on the freeway, maybe. There's at some point it does not have the takeoff power once you're on the freeway. You're good getting up to free speeds, but if you punch it to catch up with them, uh, you'll catch up, but it's not going to be the same level of juice. Okay. Because okay. right now we're uh, we'll pull up the energy ratings. Oh, look at that. Okay. Yeah. This is. Was that me? Yep. That's, that's when 900 I hit that, in. that miles per hour we don't yep. want to talk and about. And that's where okay. you slowed it down. So you're putting in 900 watt, putting out 900 watt hours to the motors, and this is the motors putting almost 300 watt hours back, back in the battery. In. Right. Oh, okay, I got to Yeah, that. watch for that blue flashy. <laughs> okay, so now when we were kind of swerving over because of that merge lane, it let me take the wheel. Yep, absolutely. You just grab the wheel, you take it over, so you're fine. Okay. No problems. Like it's not an issue. Interesting, and it's showing your all. Yep. Now, if I keep my hands on the wheel, is it going to know? Um, there's, yeah. Oh, okay, your hands are there, and it won't ask you. Okay. I just roll the rollers because I keep my hands on my side because it seems more comfortable. I know it says keep them on the wheel. But <laughs> yeah, well, you could be texting right now, texting and driving. Yeah, if you're texting. Legally. Well, well no, no, legally. no. They still don't <laughs> understand the car. Yeah. That This is just, the, I have my, I, it's like cruise control. And and this is incredible. This is weird. Yeah, and if the truck gets out of our way, it'll accelerate and go around them. Because you have so the. So what max if I set. put the blinker on? Will it move me over? No, with full self driving, that's all you have to do to tell it to move you over is hit the blinker, and it goes, "Oh, you want to be over there? I'll figure it out for you." And it tells you, and it goes through a process. I might buy the full self driving. I'm undecided on it right now. It's on my list, but it's also six thousand dollars. Yeah. And roll the roller. Oh. <laughs> okay. But it uh, one of those things that. So if it's I do the, if I do the blinker, I gotta take control. Yep. When you do the blinker, it gives you control. You don't have to tell it. It just putting the blinker on takes oh, it. Oh, I see red lights up there. It's not after me. Not it's after ahead you. of me. Someone else. Oh, is, it, it went back into mode. No, Wait. it didn't. Tap down twice. Oh. It's not in mode. Why? But it's, the gas. I don't it does. Know. It uh, it stays in um, cruise control. Oh. So it does have cruise control separate from autopilot. Oh. Okay. So you, one down is cruise control. But you steer. Oh, isn't that nice? I tell you, setting it on a roller, it makes so much sense. Like my other car yeah. had to do the little ups and downs, and it just and the push buttons and things the like push that. Buttons. And this just does it. Yeah. Why not put a roller? Like it's like a game pad. I just roll it up a little bit, and I'm yeah. setting a speed. It's like the the, the BlackBerry roller. Yeah. There it's you like the go. BlackBerry roller. <laughs> Show, the you're showing your age. Yeah. I love the BlackBerry. Oh, I got to roll again. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. And so now it's just kind of an even keel. We yep. get a little punch there and it shows that. Yeah. And uh, what you can do over time when you're driving, because you have your range and you have your projected range. Okay. The battery estimates 236 miles. The projected range is 246 miles based on our last 30 miles. Okay. 221 okay. or 237. So you're going to get different numbers on this. Right. Um, but it's going to be based on your energy consumption. Matter of fact, the numbers keep getting bigger if you're on a big downhill because it can't predict your terrain. I think right. it would be a neat feature if they could, but it doesn't predict terrain. So it doesn't have topographical mapping. In yeah, here. uphills are going to use more energy. Downhills going to use less energy. That is, this is wow. Oh, we got to tap again. Yep. It makes sure you're awake. I I do. So okay. I'm just trying to figure out though. It's just a software upgrade. Yeah. And it knows, it's reading those lines. Yep, it reads the lines. I mean, it the autopilot performs amazingly well on the freeway. I'm very, very comfortable with it on the freeway. On two-lane highways, it's not bad. 
um, on all the weird streets that we have in Detroit and all the missing lines, it does an okay job. Well, I did say okay. It does a good job for how bad the roads are, but the the people on the roads really create a lot of aggravation because right. as they kind of wander over the line, the car goes, I think they're in your lane, so I'm slowing down. I'm like, they're not in my lane. They're texting and kind of in my lane. Right, right. Um, but it's easy enough to take control of the car and get around those people. And actually, I usually just punch it around. I'm like, I need to be in front of this person because behind me, I worry about them a little less. Of course, right. when they're behind you, there's more worry them about uh, rear-ending you. Them but, hitting, uh, we can't <laughs> stop them. Yeah, I can't stop them. And, uh, and literally, this thing won't really let you hit something, will it? No, it's got auto braking, uh, auto collision avoidance. So there's a lot of safety features in there. You can look up the NTSB videos that are available on YouTube that show you what the collision avoidance looks like on this car. Oh. Uh, they roll a bicycle out in front of it on the test track, and they show a lot of scenarios. So the Tesla will auto brake. It has saved a lot of people from accidents because they're right. people don't pay attention and uh, rear in the car right to my knowledge and everything I've read and Tesla's been very clear about this there's not been any accidents while on autopilot um, when well I, let's say this like when on autopilot on a freeway for example and the reason I bring it up like that is because yes autopilot if you are doing something stupid, like you set it to autopilot on a surface street and you know it does not read stop signs and it does not read a red light and you hit someone while on autopilot because you blew the light, that's not really the car's fault. You weren't supposed to be doing it. Right, right. Um, but the thing, like there was a person just the other day in a severe accident, I believe one person was uh, killed and the girl was driving a Tesla. Now one of the things is they asked, was it an autopilot? The police said, we don't know yet. But one of the things about it, you cannot on surface streets go more than five over the speed limit. It when won't you, let you. It won't let you, but she was doing 30 over. So right away that tells me- It, it wasn't on auto. I really doubt it was an autopilot. And we don't okay, know for let's sure. let's see what it does yeah. here. Oh, curves, yeah. Oh, look at that. The curves are weird because you want to put your hand over the steering wheel the first couple times you drive it. Um, oh, I let it right off. I'm trusting it. Yeah. You told me to trust it, so I'm trusting we it. We trusted it over a bridge. Yeah, but that was straight and no big truck next to us. Yeah. Yeah, wow. it stays in lane and it noticed how far away that person is from us. Oh, got to do that still. Yeah. Eventually, um, you, you kind of get used to doing that. <laughs> well, I noticed when I had my hands on it, though, it doesn't make me do it. Right. So I knows that I'm kind of moving the yeah. steering wheel a little you, bit. If you keep your hands on it, you have a little bit of effort in your hands because you're actually, inadvertently, you're going to fight against it a little bit. Right. It doesn't seem to mind at all. Interesting. But it's a smooth riding car. Yes, it like, is. It's got the quality feel I have. I'm going to say not quite as quiet. Here we go, another turn here. But I'm gonna say it, it ranks up there with my uh, my Jaguar is probably the quietest car I've owned. Right. Um, you close the door and the world disappears. It's Correct. It's not yes. quite as much as my Jag was. Um, don't add, it was an older XJ Jag number. I don't know how old though. I got it was anyways older model Jag was still the same concept. Um, right. Where road quiet. I've owned uh, BMWs. I've owned uh, some few other vehicles. This has a more. This has more of the feel that the BMW has with this tight steering, yes. the performance. Uh, I would say probably I had, I had three series. I'd say it does feel a lot like that. So I'm. This is very interesting because now with with this, what's this roller do when it's in driving? That's a that roller is all for audio, oh, so audio, that controls okay. the sound system. Okay. And uh, this one controls the uh, up and down for the speed limit. Okay. And look at that, just a slight little jag. Yeah. So even so, does it? it it's using cameras and all the you said, what kind of lidar the, lidar technology. Yep. So it is. What happens when they're doing construction on a road? Okay. And they split the lines. And it but has, sometimes they don't get some, rid of the old lines all the way. It has problems there. That's where you're going to have some auto drive problems that I've noticed. That if you split the lines, it, yeah, it'll uh, have a little trouble picking on there. But okay. overall, it works pretty good. I mean, like I said, what do you think of driving a Tesla? As we'll wrap the video up. <laughs> this is fantastic. <laughs> Oh, what was that? You turned too hard and you took it out of auto steer. Oh, so I'm in auto. So yep. how do I take it out of... Um, Just up once and you'll take it out of uh, auto everything. Oh, and that's me now. And there you go. Now I'm driving. Yep. 
All right, we'll wrap the video up here, but that's... Holy cow. <laughs> that's all I can say. I could say a lot more, but I'm not gonna use those words. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I just wanted to give an idea of what someone who's never drove a Tesla, how, how hard is that braking to get used to with the pedal? Um, it, actually, I, I forgot about it just now when we went off and then it started to slow me down and I just got right back on it's it. It's easy to get used to. So here's Brett has now drove a Tesla uh, based on the time I hit record 26 minutes ago. <laughs> His first driving a Tesla and no problem. Wow. Like, they're easy cars to drive not hard to get used to no, including all. all the features and you don't feel too lost with all this gadgetry and you're not no. a tech Brett's not a tech guy by the way either so I mean he likes gadgets but he doesn't work in tech like I do yeah the, I did this would take me some time to get used to yeah but it's not hard to not, no out. no no gosh no no yeah, yeah. I you just you, you he doesn't know where all the buttons are but he knows enough to get in and drive so oh, you I can, would, you I can borrow this car buttons. yeah <laughs> Yo, yeah I can borrow this car and drive it anytime yeah <laughs> all right we'll wrap this up here um I do have uh, an offer code if you are buying a Tesla you want to get a thousand free miles of charging and then we both get a thousand free miles for the deal uh, you can sign the offer code below but uh, let me know what questions or comments you have or more things you want to learn about the Tesla so I'm gonna be doing you know, a handful of different videos on it and for those of you who know me from the tech channel I don't worry I'm still making lots of tech videos but this is just the current gadget I gotta play with you it's a new thing it's a new thing I gotta play with it that's right all right thanks